guys, or tell me in fact, because I thought that was cool. You did a thing right at the beginning of that that was like scratching a record. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I'm doing is using the side of the platform to. I can see. I know what you. I know what you've done, but like, you, it was just. It was a really interesting kind of thing. So you ding, 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 ding. Thank you. <laughs> Everything about this is fun. Well, it's like playing a seven string without the seventh string and all the extra fuss that brings you. And the neck feels really nice. It's made of three different pieces of wood. It is. And I'll one, tell of you what is they are. one of them is a different color. And I really like it. And it's fun. And we, we haven't done the intro yet. <sighs> I'm Rob. <laughs> and I'm the captain, just and in case you'd forgotten. We're in. The Turns. The Turns. The Super Musician Super Turns. Forsooth, verily, I bring thee. The Wanderer's Guitar from Ibanez, the yes. Rugubitsi... Do you know, everything about Ibanez is cool, except the way they name their guitars. Uh, I'm not a fan of... Um, Rugubitsi... Yeah, I like, I like guitars with names like Hellraiser or yeah. Les Paul or Stratocaster. Or ML1. Oh uh, yeah, damn. <laughs> 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 but I not... love guitars called RGB16 do... or whatever it's called. You do realise it's Ibanez, not Ibanez. Ibanez. Too. Yeah. This is a new guitar for 2014. I saw it at the NAM show. The NAM show. Um, and it's called the RGBI6. And it's a baritone guitar from Ibanez. So, what's a baritone guitar, Robert? Well, it's just a longer scale length so you can tune low. That's right. And get nice and, and it's tighter feeling on the strings. Don't, don't necessarily get this to shred lots of lead, although you could do, obviously. You get this more for your low, chunky, dirty rhythms. So this is uh, out the factory tuned with a bottom E string, sorry, a bottom string here that's a 68 gauge string and it's tuned to B as standard. The, all the intervals are the same as a, a regular guitar, uh, but it would go B to B as opposed to E to E. Yeah, I'm in drop A um, though, because... Yeah, you've dropped it even more, haven't you? Yeah. The neck is what's called the Ibanez Nitro. So it's a pretty skinny neck, it's about two mil thick up here. Uh, sorry, two mil, two centimeters, 20 mil thick down here. Um, not massively flat. <laughs> Would have been amazing board. if it was a two mil yeah, thick. Two mil. Can you imagine that? Like, <laughs> like paper, hello? mate, like paper. <laughs> it's amazing how it takes I strung it up, it just got <laughs> <laughs> <That's> it, immediately. <laughs> um, and it's a three piece neck, uh, and that uh, dark colored middle strip is Bubinga. Oh, Bubinga. Uh, Bubinga. Bubinga. Wow. Uh, that should have been a character from Star Wars, couldn't it? Chewbacca. Don't, don't it's start. His backer. It's his brother. Don't Ubinga. start. <laughs> <laughs> there are only three films in the Holy Trinity. Don't, don't, don't bring it up, oh. I'll get upset. And so, as Rob said, it's 28 inches long, uh, which means you can tune it down and it's uh, still tight. Uh, Gibraltar 2 uh, stop. Which is here. interestingly because Gibraltar make drum parts. They do. They make drum hardware, um, which, and I'm guessing it's the same Gibraltar. Of course, it may not be, um, but I expect it probably is. And EMG pickups, but not your normal 81 and 85, which you would perhaps uh, not typically see as a pair. 82 uh, and 86. No, uh, 85, you just made that up, didn't you? <laughs> 85 at the bridge, but a 60 at the neck, which uh, used to be on the, the Hetfield uh, EMG before yes. he went, the uh, Hetfield ESP, sorry, before he went over to his of own course, set. Of course, the hand-wired uh, all-valve. Hand-wired um, all-valve, point-to-point, yes. uh, no, um, made of trees. Uh, no, these are, the EMG 60 is a lower output pickup than the 85, so it's kind of more vintage -y. I guess, again, it, it's that kind of vibe that says, there is this kind of cool driven tone at the moment where, where, where the guys are saying, like, I've got a super high gain amplifier, but I want a slightly more laid back kind of pickup. You still get all the benefits of uh, EMG pickups, you know, low noise, um, very low pull on the strings. Yeah, you just don't want to push the preamp of the amp too hard no. and let the amp do the work and don't push it in. It's also got a Kyle switch. A Kylie Minogue switch. Yes, Kyle switch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, turn it on, I'll show them what it does.
does that, that's all it does. Wow. But here's the thing. Because it's a switch, it's a bit clunky and you can't really use it rhythmically. Like, it's what, interesting you say that, isn't it? You would think that a kill switch should be a momentary switch, wouldn't you? Yeah. This is, uh, well, like, having said that, though, of course, on a Les Paul, you know, where yeah. you see people kind of wire their three-way switch, so, or not wire it, yeah. but it is the same. That would be a that's switch as well. different, though, because that's a vi vintage guitar. Someone found a trick with... You know, like diming and out. When you see, this is a modern guitar. They could have just put a moment. I'm sure latch when you see Tom Morello playing switch. stuff and he's using like a Les Paul, he's using a, a switch. So, but he's really good. Yeah, he's really I, I think good. I think what they should have done. I believe. please take note. I agree. And who am I to say this? But it would have been better if it was like a, an arcade fire button, like um, oh, like on the old Atari, like Hufschmied <laughs> does. <laughs> Hufschmied's king of the kill switch, man. Mm. All the Atari. Fire buttons to great. Really you could cool. easily retrofit that, I'm sure. Yes, you could for just ninety nine pounds ninety three nine two nine one. Guitar retails for about five hundred pounds. Um, do you know what? I'm having a bit of a deja vu moment here. We've talked. About we reviewed this a guitar before that had a momentary that didn't have a. Have we done this guitar before? Where we, maybe we have. <laughs> wouldn't it be amazing if we had? It would be incredible, wouldn't it? That's fine. That's finally. I don't remember playing this guitar. It's a new one for 2014. Yeah, so, so there's no way I could have reviewed no way this we, guitar. Unless there's another. Unless, uh, like, unless there's some kind of hot up time machine type situation. Our knees are touching now, but no one notices mm. now. Just a little bit, otherwise we'll get those comments about us having a, a we're bigger in a, couch. We're in a steady relationship now. and <laughs> with, with other people, not with, our, not with ourselves. Do you just want to play? Because there's not much yeah. else to say. It's a basswood body. I'll have a bit Do you of say delay. basswood or basswood? Do you uh, say tomato or tomato? I say basswood because I think it sounds it a little bit more exciting. It should be basswood, shouldn't it, really? Yeah, but then you think you're going to make basses from it. True. And you wouldn't want to do but that. But it is. That's You'd want to make a base from Bubinga. Bubinga! Bubinga and Maple make and a great Chewbacca. Base. Those two pieces of famous wood together. There's no reason I'm saying that. <laughs> We haven't done this guitar in a video before. <laughs> you just checked. I did check because we've <laughs> definitely talked about this switch before. Maybe we talked about it at the NAMM show. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It's a great guitar. It's an affordable price. Uh, I like what they did here. It's one of those guitars where the back is as sexy as the front. Has it got a belly cut? Let's look at things that I don't like about it. <clears throat> I don't like this. Very sharp angle. I'm not a big fan of the the white. Uh, oh, I like that because it looks like the stuff off the Iron Label where they've done the white. I think it looks cool. Uh, this is really Pick sharp. Ups mounted do, direct do, to the Lee, body. Lee, Lee, do that. Well, why would you do that though? While well, but playing? just do it. Yeah, but why would you do that? It hurts. That's, yeah, but why? But don't do it then. <laughs> it's like um, there is no reason to take your finger and poke the corner I, of the neck on a guitar. I do like the little we fairy, always like fairy the, trap door. We love the fairy trap door. I wonder what's in the fairy trap cover. door. A fairy. Careful, you let it out now. No. Oh, uh, put it back in. Put it back in. Put, okay, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Rest assured that every Anderton Zonruga's <laughs> bass baritone will come with its fairy fully installed in the trap door. Absolutely. I'm Rob Chapman, and I'm the captain. Here's a plectrum. <laughs> 